It's a world of laughter and a world of tears, especially if you're stuck on a ride at Disneyland. I'll tell you all about it in a moment. Hi, I'm Donna Scheidt with the Jefferson City Daycare Center. The Jefferson City Daycare Center is a licensed daycare with an accredited early childhood education program. We care for up to 99 children ages birth to eight, primarily from low and middle income families. The Jefferson City Daycare Center, providing quality early childhood education services in a caring environment. We're proud to be a United Way partner agency. Find us online at www.jcdcc.org and like us on Facebook. A man in a wheelchair was visiting Disneyland in 2009 when he decided to go on one of the most popular rides in the park. It's a small world. But the whimsical boat ride in Fantasyland turned into the trip from hell. The ride broke down. Disney was able to rescue all the other passengers, but this man was stuck because he needed his wheelchair. To make matters worse, the song, It's a Small World, kept playing over and over and over. The man got a headache, and he needed to use the bathroom. The longer he sat, the worse both sensations got, and his blood pressure went up. And through it all, the recording of children from across the world singing, It's a Small World, continued on. After 30 minutes, Disney fixed the ride. The man sued. He said it took his body three hours to recover from 30 minutes in the small world. The judge found Disney at fault and awarded him $8,000. It makes sense. The guy was stuck listening to the song for 30 minutes. And just because the ride was over, <laughs> that doesn't mean the song was over. I read about this story a couple of days ago, and I still haven't been able to get that song out of my head. This guy probably went months with it going through his head. He may break out in a sweat every time he hears about a children's choir performing somewhere. I wonder if he was disappointed with only getting $8,000. This was Disneyland, for goodness sakes. $8,000 barely covers the amount for admission and, and one of those pizzas shaped like Mickey's head. He was probably expecting millions, but he shouldn't have expected a big settlement because it is a small world, after all. I'm Michael P. Downey. Thanks for watching.